Get ready for a party with some of your favorite creations in this commemorative showcase. Hello, Summoners! We are celebrating a full 100 episodes of fan-created content, and we just can't contain ourselves. We have spent over a year watching you guys create incredible pieces of art. So what might you have missed? Let's take a stroll down memory lane with these classic fan videos. Either you've been under a rock, or you're about to get a big surprise as we introduce you to Dunky. Happy birthday! <laughs> hey, Swain. Swain, you're the, you're the consolation bonus prize. He's made so many custom songs for champions, they're hard to count. Blockheart, take it away. Lolly, you're a multi-talented gal who is now synonymous with the voice of Annie. A is for Annie. Have you seen her bare tibbers? B is for Blitzcrank, whose bull gives me shivers. C is for Cholgath, who eats champs for dinner. Ever undaunted, these videographers consistently make content that we have to watch. But there's more! I mean, who isn't a fan of cosplay? Zarina is quite the intrepid costumer with a whole slew of outfits at her disposal. My personal favorite is the redeemed ribbon, but let's face it, Bunny Girl is hard not to love. In terms of sheer numbers and absolutely dedicated craft, Miss Yero is at the top of her game. Madam, you are often the first to dress as a champion and surprise us, even if we don't recognize who the person in the costume is. If you talk about dreaming the impossible dream, Brit the Badger comes to mind immediately. Oriana, she can do it. Sejuani, better than we can ever dream. Aim for the stars and we'll keep taking a million pictures of you. It's inspirational and beautiful and there's so many other compliments to those amazing ladies. But here's one of my favorite categories, crafts. This is a new one, but let's talk about this Kogma robot. Actually, let's not talk about the robot. Let's talk about throwing money at the screen and getting mad at Yong Sung Kim for making us want a robot so badly. We know Baron Nasher has a drooling problem, but Josh has been the solitary summoner who sees that as an opening for art. In one of my all-time favorite creations, he made a foot and a half tall fountain that drools just like we expect out of that familiar fellow. Fiendle should be a household name in the showcase by now, whether for her incredible cosplay or her equally stunning plushy and doll making. You haven't seen this Kogma yet, but anyone who gets to my desk has. And meeting this Oriana doll in person, I'm still convinced she watches me sleep and can stare into my soul. And now for art, we have legions of talented people who are overwhelming for their skill and charm. Just look at this. You've seen his work everywhere. He's even inspired some of our champion skins. The beloved Matcom is a legend for his imagination and dedication to the community. And when they want art, this guy delivers. It's hard to imagine anything cuter than what Chantanel can do. From wiggly champion gifts that you've probably seen pasted everywhere, to the utmost adorable art, we think that if we met her, she must look exactly like Lulu. Duet has been making art, and more art, and continues making all the arts. Her league portraits are inspired, and she is so consistently amazing that our jaws hit the floor every time. Inkiness, this showcase can't keep up with you. It's like we blink and there's something new and amazing that you've created. And each time I get a little bit closer to just asking your hand in marriage. The colors, the composition, the league. I'm buying a ring tomorrow. 100 episodes. 100, that's like makes us officially old and we could not be any happier about it. So go on Facebook and share your favorite Summoner Showcase moments with other fans. For anyone who submitted, and to everyone who plays League of Legends, we owe it all to you. So keep being incredible and keep showing us how great you are. Until then, we're gonna keep partying. This, this is just out of control. We will see you next episode. <laughs>